Our stratospheric polar vortex is forecast to slow and collapse as we get towards the end of November and into the beginning of December. And this may be a significant break of the polar vortex, one that we haven't seen in a long time. This may help to explain why our European extended ensemble sees so much snow in the United States before Christmas. I quickly want to clarify what exactly the polar vortex is before explaining how this upcoming collapse could significantly affect our December in the States. We technically have two polar vortexes, our tropospheric polar vortex and our stratospheric polar vortex. The one we're talking about right now is the stratospheric polar vortex, and this is the polar vortex that holds in the coldest air on the planet. Even colder than that polar air down in Antarctica because of the geography of the land in the northern hemisphere. When we have a stable polar vortex, as you can see here, our winds up in the stratosphere over the Arctic are rotating very fast, kind of acting as a force field holding in all of that cold air, not allowing it to escape down into the mid and lower latitudes. This is a strong low pressure up in the stratosphere, ensuring that cold air is trapped. Well, what happens when a higher pressure and warm air begin to move north and push against the stratospheric polar vortex? This is when it destabilizes. And if you get high enough heights and enough warm air, this is when the polar vortex can completely break, displacing the coldest air on the planet down into the mid latitudes, where we are. And this air has no business being down here in the States. It's meant to be up there around the North Pole. Major polar vortex collapses only happen about once every three years. Not only is this collapse expected to be major, but it could be on the high end of a major collapse. 